lovelies, I hope you're all well. So today I wanted to show you how you can take a single layer image and turn it into multi layers. And we're going to do this all in design space. And we're going to use one of my favorite, favorite tools, and that's the contour tool. It is my most used tool and it really does change the way in which you use design space. So I've got an image here from Design Space and you can see it's one layer. Now in order to use the contour tool, it does all have to be one welded layer or a JPEG. If we select it, you'll see the contour tool becomes available. If we just click on that, you can zoom in and out and you can add and remove pieces of your picture. So there we've taken one away and we can also add in as well. So the first thing that I want to do is duplicate this to the amount of layers I need. So I want all of my rainbow arches to be a different colour. So that means I'm going to need one, two, three, four, five layers for my rainbow. And then I think I'm going to have each of my text pieces a separate colour as well. So that's five, six, seven, eight. So I need seven duplicates. I'm going to highlight them all and I'm going to go align and center. So they're all going to be in the exact same place. I'm also going to make this bigger and I'm going to make it bigger all at once so they keep their size and their placing. And then I'm going to change each of the layer colors. Now these might not be the colors that I end up with, but it will help you if you're working with lots of layers like this, you want to turn it into a multi-layered image to change each of them. So it just gives you an idea of which one you're working with. So for this layer, I just want to keep the top arch of my rainbow. So this one here. So I'm going to go to contour. And a nice easy way of doing it is just to go to hide all contours, especially if you're working with lots of different pieces. So I hide all contours. And funnily enough, it's left me with the one I want. So nice and easy and simple. So we can then close that down. If I then go to the next layer, I want to keep my second arch. So again, I'm going to select that, go to contour. Again, I'm going to hide all contours and this time I'm just going to select the arch I want and then remove that one. And it just saves me from having to remove lots of pieces and then add them back in. Again, this layer. So contour, hide all contours, bring back that one and remove that one. And you'll see when you come over them, it obviously is highlighting. This one, contour, hide all contours, select that arch and remove that one. Now, if I was trying to slice these, it would be so difficult to do. And before I realized how invaluable my contour tool was, I would spend ages getting lots of different shapes. So I'd have squares attached to circles, attached to stars, trying to obviously slice out these pieces. The contour tool makes that so much easier. So again, I'm going to select contour. I'm going to hide all contours. Bring back this one and remove that one. So I can see I've gone slightly wrong. I haven't got as many layers as I would like. It happens sometimes. So what I'm going to do is to prevent everything from moving, I am just going to duplicate this layer, change that color. So let's change it to a green. I'm going to hide it using my eye in my layers panel. I'm then just going to group these other ones together because it will keep them in sync when I do what I'm going to do next. So I'm going to group. I'm then going to bring back my hidden layer. I'm going to select them, align and center. Obviously the grouping only works in your 
canvas so if I group something and I then go to make it they're all going to be separate but they will be anyway because they're different layers I can then select the group and go to ungroup I can then continue Just zoom out on this one a little bit hide all contours and then I can bring back my letters you want to make sure that you remove the middle pieces if you don't if we just click on that you'll see it's solid and then with my last layer, I can go to contour, again, zoom out, hide all contours, and then just bring back that lower line. And there we go. We've gone from a single layer to having all these different layers, nice and easy, using the contour tool. It's not taken me much time at all. It's not been particularly hard. I haven't had to come in with loads of different shapes welded together to try and slice just makes it nice and easy. The contour tool is so underrated. And as I say, it's probably my most used and most favorite tool in design space. As always, I hope this has been helpful. Please do subscribe. Please do hit that notification bell and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.